Jason, and I'm off to the nearest blood bank to donate blood and help patients who need it, like Algin. I was in ICU for 14 days due to dengue hemorrhagic fever. And uh, at that point of time, my life uh, was hanging on a balance. And without the nine packets of blood, I would not be here today. Many people would not be here today if not for the generosity of blood donors. Did you know that Singapore needs about 15 bags of blood every hour? That's almost 400 bags of blood a day. And sometimes a person might need more than one bag of blood. When we gave birth to our son Shane three years ago, I had a really life-threatening complication called amniotic fluid embolism. It's poisoning of the blood with amniotic fluid. So I had to go through surgery and was put down uh, in ICU for five days and I had transfusion up to 50 bags of blood products. So it's quite an emotional and traumatizing time for me and my family. Wow, 50 bags of blood. That's why we need healthy individuals like you to come forward to donate. But first, check if you meet all these requirements. Between 16 and 60 years old, weigh at least 45 kilograms, in good health, no symptoms of infections in the past week, and no fever in the past three weeks. Also, you could be asked to wait a little longer before you donate, if you are undergoing treatment for a major illness or surgery, taking any medication or receiving any vaccination, recovering from an infectious disease, undergoing dental work, pregnant breastfeeding or having heavy menstrual flow. Deferral periods range from one day to several months. Travelling to different parts of the world may also make you ineligible to donate blood for a period of time. In the last four months, if you have travelled to Bangladesh, Cambodia, India, Indonesia, Laos, Myanmar, Thailand, South Korea, Vietnam. Please call the Singapore Red Cross at 6220 0183 to check your eligibility. All good? Great! Join me and donate blood today! <laughs>